Yo everybody, welcome back to Beyond the Beat. My name is Dave McKenzie. In this little segment, I'm gonna teach you how to tune your guitar. So I've got a D'Addario tuner here. Um, you may not have the same kind of tuner, but you can still follow along with this video and it should help you very much. Um, if you have this tuner, it'll be even more helpful. All right, so what you're gonna to need to tune your guitar is you're gonna need a guitar pick, you don't even really need that, you can pluck with your fingers. Um, you're gonna need a guitar, obviously, and you're gonna need a tuner. Sometimes you might have a built-in tuner on your guitar, and you can follow along with that as well. It's gonna be very similar. Electronic tuners tend to work the same. All right, so why do you tune your guitar? Well, basically, it's the easiest thing that you can do to ensure that you sound better. It's like a small thing that you can do that's not so small. Like, if you're out of tune, it's really, it's really not good. Like, I'm gonna play a G chord, one fret up doesn't sound very good so what if I play it right in so nice so make sure that you're in tune all right so you want it's the easiest thing that you can do to sound good um, you really need to be in tune if you're playing with other musicians because if everyone's in tune then it works nicely but if it's not then it doesn't measure up and, and it sounds really 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 wrong so uh, the third reason that you might need to be in tune is because you're recording now that's extremely important. If you're recording, everything has to be precisely in tune, um, especially for the mixing after. It just it should be precisely in tune so that all the instruments work really, really well together. So be sure to follow along with this video if you're gonna do any recording. All right, so let's see how this tuner works. This is the D'Addario headstock tuner. The center button here with the little line going up, it's the biggest button on the tuner powers the tuner on and off. It's, uh, it's really self-explanatory, but if you do happen to leave your tuner on, it will shut off on its own. It's better to do it yourself though, and then conserve your battery, right? These little arrows going from side to side, they adjust how many hertz the tuner is tuning to. So standard pitch is 440. Please make sure that your tuner is set to 440. The little arrows going around in circles, chasing each other in the middle of the tuner, that flips the screen on the face of the tuner. If you happen to be playing a gig and you want to put the tuner on the back of your headstock, flip the screen so that you can read your tuner when you're on stage and then it's a little bit more attractive during your gig. The M turns on a little uh, metronome for the tuner, okay? The metronome has no sound, but the only reason that you might want to use that metronome would be if you were counting in a band and you needed a very specific tempo on stage. So those are all the buttons on the tuner. Behind the tuner, there's, uh, this is where the battery gets inserted. There's a little grip on either side. You pull that out and there's a cylinder battery that can be inserted. And that's how this tuner works. Those are all the things that you need to know. Cool, now let's tune the guitar. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna turn the tuner on with the power button. There you'll notice it says 440 in the corner. If it says 439, make the adjustment. Make sure it always says 440. All right, so the first string that we're gonna tune on the guitar is the low E string. That's the thickest cable here, this big bassy string, all right? And here's the tuning peg that goes with that string, all right? This is your sixth string, if you were wondering. All right, so I'm gonna pluck that string, and you'll notice that E comes up. If it doesn't say E, if it says D, chances are that you just have to tighten using a, a counterclockwise motion to, to get to E. Now just make sure that you just turn in little increments. You don't do massive turns on the machine head or you're gonna get so far away from the note that it's difficult to get back to it. If you totally lose your bearings, you can use an audio tuner online uh, where you can actually hear the note and you can sort of make adjustments until it sounds similar, but don't tune it too high. So it's better to release the tension and then try to get back to E because you don't wanna break a string by going way too far, all right? So I'm gonna pluck E and you'll notice that there's three bars next to the E. I would also recommend that you, that you mute the strings here, okay? So if you can put your fingers on the strings that you're not tuning, uh, that really helps the tuner get focused because it cuts out unwanted frequencies. So that says E. You'll notice that the bars on the left side of the E are showing. So that means that it's a little bit flat, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the tuner very, very minutely until we see a solid two bars on either side of E. That's when we know it's perfectly in tune. It's very important to be really, really in tune. So now we're gonna tune A. So A is the fifth string. It's the second wound string here, okay? But it's actually the fifth, not the second. 
So there's A and you'll notice that there's a little, there's two bars on the left side of A, that means it's flat. So we need to turn your machine head here, your fifth peg counterclockwise ever so slightly and you continue to play. Now keep muting the strings that you're not playing and you just keep on turning ever so slightly until both bars on, are on either side of the A, that means it's perfectly in tune, all right? Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the D string. So this is the fourth string. This is your fourth string on your guitar, um, high E being the first, all right? And the D string is right here. Here's the machine head. So I'll pluck D, and you'll notice D's a little bit flat as well. So I just turned it, but I went a little bit too far by accident that time. You'll notice that now it's sharp. You're gonna see some bars on the opposite side of the tuner. So there's an option that you can actually shake your, you can actually wiggle your string a bit here, okay? Like I'm just wiggling the D string and pushing down on it. And that's sometimes adjusted enough, but it didn't this time. So we wanna tune it down. Now make sure that you wiggle your string a little bit if you happen to go past um, the point of it being in tune and making it too sharp. Because the wound strings sometimes get caught up in the, the nut here, and a little bit of slack stays on this side of the nut. All right, so make sure that you turn it down wiggle the string, and now it's good and flat. See how it's red, it's very flat. Now we're gonna try to get it in tune again. Try not to go past the point of being in tune. So do little adjustments until it's perfect, okay? Nice and full until both, there we go. We have it nice and solid. So those, four, those three strings are in tune. Now the next string that we're gonna do, here's the machine head, for G, and if you follow the string all the way back, make sure you're tuned in the correct string, here's the G string. It's the, it's the only, on an acoustic guitar, it's the last wound string that we have, all right? So there's G, and G just happens to be in. Okay, maybe it's a little bit flat. Not really. So here you have to turn the machine heads clockwise because it's on the opposite side of the headstock, all right? So now we're gonna check the B string. This is not a wound string. This is your second string B, and the machine head or the tuning peg is here. So B is pretty close to in tune, but we'll notice a little flat. So we're gonna turn this clockwise by a smidge. That's the technical term, smidge. Um, and it's pretty good. There it is, it's perfect actually. And then the last string we're gonna do is the first string, it's high E. and I'm just getting it set. And you'll notice that E is really good. And what you wanna do after you've tuned all the strings is you want to double check the tuning. It's very important that you do so. I'm gonna turn off the tuner now. And you'll see it just shuts down nicely. Um, make sure that you double check the tuning, all right? Sometimes if you were really out of tune in the first place, by the time you've changed the tension on all the strings, um, it may have put more pressure on the headstock, pulled it out a little bit, and it may have put some of the first strings that you tuned out of tune. So please, whenever you tune, try to go through it twice and you should be perfectly in tune for making great recordings or performing. Let's check to see if this guitar is in tune. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. It means a lot. Please subscribe to the channel. It's really the smallest thing that you could do to help us so much. It's why we work. Uh, it's what helps us grow on YouTube and it means more than you'll ever know. We work so hard to bring these videos to you. So please help us, all right? Give us a, a good subscription, like the videos, leave a comment um, and let us know what you want us to work on and what you'd like us to sort of cover for you guys, all right? Stay cool, keep picking and play lots of music.